Okay, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on how to move the mouth of a 3D character once you have it uh, uh, rigged. Uh, so most auto riggers will not rig the mouth, the eye, or the ears. Uh, some of those little details, it won't rig it. Um, but, you know, so when you get the auto rigger done and you got the animation in, uh, everything works, but you know the eyes or the ears or the mouth. Well, you can go ahead and rig those to the existing um, armature, and then do separate animations with them, along with the already existing animation. So let's go ahead and get started here. So what I have here is I already got it pre-recorded, so it's just going to be a voiceover. I'll go ahead and start it here, and here we have uh, Glam Rock. Um, Freddy. So we're gonna ha go ahead and take a look at him here, and he's already an uh, what is it? He's already animated, and he's already got the armature on and all that. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, and what we're gonna do here is um, put him into the uh, uh, the T pose. So let's try to get him back into his default T pose. Uh, by selecting the armature, going to Pose Mode, and uh, Alt G R is the shortcut to put him back into the T pose position. Uh, now we'll go back into Object Mode, and he's in T pose. And we'll go ahead and take a look at him here. Okay, so what we're going to do is select the uh, armature here and go into. Um, edit mode so we want to edit the armature so we select the armature go to edit mode edit mode right here and now we're in edit mode now with the armature selected and going to edit mode we can now edit the armature uh, same respect if you were to select the actual 3d uh, body itself and go into edit mode you can uh, edit the 3d body so uh, we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do now we're in the edit mode of the armature so what we're going to do is add a new armature to it. So here we are, we're going to go ahead and add the new armature, right there it is. And we're going to move it to where we want it to be on Glamrock's body. And we want to animate the mouth, so we're going to move it up towards the mouth. So Glamrock for this particular one, Glamrock has uh, a separate piece for the mouth, which makes it easier. So we're going to go ahead and position that uh, new armature there best we can to the mouth, the bottom piece of the head. Okay, so once we got it where we want it, this is where I want it. So once I got the armature there, I'm going to have to connect the armature, the new one, to the existing armature. Uh, to do that, I can simply just select the armature itself, the new one, and then select one of the bones um, in the armature, uh, probably the one right there on his head next to it. So I'm going to select the new armature, and I'm going to select the existing armature that's right there next to the head. Okay, so once I got them both selected, I'm going to go ahead and parent the armature, the new armature, to the existing armature. And I want to keep the offset. What that means is, if you want, if you parent the armature, you don't want the armature to move to a default position where Blender moves it to. You want to keep it at where you have it right there, so keep offset. So here it goes, we'll go ahead and hit parent make keep offset so it stays at that position it doesn't move so once we go back into the uh, object mode and initiate the uh, animation as you can see right there the armature moved the new armature moved with the existing armature Okay, so we're going to put it back into the uh, T-Pose mode. 
here we are and back to object mode and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, weight paint so weight paint simply means that if you choose a bone and you paint the three object at a certain location the heavier you paint it the more the po uh, the more the armature will pull that body part the bone will pull that body part so I simply pick a certain bone that I want which is the new one I just created I'll pick that and then the amount of paint that I paint using the weight paint tool um, is how much that new armature is going to pull that particular body part uh, I obviously want to pull the mouth part so what I'm going to do is choose the new armature and then start painting from it goes from blue to yellow uh, to uh, blue to green yellow and red being red being the heaviest of the paint so uh, if you have anything painted red the bone will pull definitely pull that part of the body uh, at the most so we'll go ahead and start here okay so we're gonna go ahead and choose the armature there first and then we're gonna choose the 3d body so armature first, 3D body um, uh, after. So once I have that chosen, I'm going to go ahead and go to paint, uh, weight paint. So at the top there, drop down to weight paint. So as you can see right now, we're in weight paint mode. Uh, we want to select the, the new armature we've created. So control click on the new armature, we'll select it. Control and click right there. So as you can see, the, the pink on Glam Rock uh, simply tells you that that new armature is not pulling any body part. It's a new armature, so it's not pulling anything at all. Pink means it's not pulling anything. So we're going to go ahead and start painting the bottom of the piece, bottom of the mouth. And with the new armature, I want to, I want it to pull uh, uh, the entire mouth as much as it can. So I'm going to go ahead and start here, start painting. And up there is um, your weight and your radius. So you can uh, uh, adjust the weight to from zero to you know one, or you know being the highest, and then you can adjust the radius pretty big. So your brush radius simply means the area of your brush will cover a bigger amount. Alright, so we're going to start painting here and here we go. So, you want to, I want to paint the entire bottom piece of Glam Rock Freddy red. Because I want that new armature to pull that entire piece. And I want it to pull at it, its maximum. So I want it all red, best I can. So I'm going to start painting here. Now, you don't want to, uh, I mean, sometimes the... Uh, uh, 3D body they all get pretty close so if you mistakenly paint somewhere else you can always reverse that paint uh, back to uh, zero which is the weight and then paint back the other blue back to it, the part that you actually painted red back to blue again so it won't pull it no more okay so I'm starting here and it's going on pretty well Okay, so as you can see, I got pretty much the entire bottom piece of Glam Rock Freddy here painted. It's pretty much all red. The bob, the new armature will pull the entire piece of that bottom. But as you can see, I've had some mistakes where I painted the top of the mouth as well. So when that bone pulls, it's going to pull some of the top mesh or body part and it's gonna warp it so it's not gonna look right so uh, what I'm gonna try here is go up, gonna set my weight paint to zero and paint the top back to blue so the armature new armature doesn't pull any part of the top looks like I'm still finishing up here all the red here Let's forward it okay so here it is 
um, fixing the top and trying to as you can see the weight is set to zero radius to 22 and I'm trying to repaint that top that I accidentally painted uh, uh, so the armature, new armature, doesn't pull the top of the head as well. It only pulls the bottom piece, the mouse, the piece I want it to pull. Okay, it looks like everything is fixed. And we have right here the entire bottom piece of Glamrock Freddy here. It is all red, so it's painted. Um, and that bone, the new armature, will pull that piece. Uh, All right, so let's go ahead and go back into object mode here. And let's see. So what we can do is test. We can test the pull and see how well it pulls. So we'll select the armature and we'll go into pose mode. So let our pose mode right here. And we'll select that new bone. And let's see how well it pulls that piece that I just painted. It should pull the entire bottom mouthpiece. So by selecting the bone, the armature and uh, moving it will tell me how well it moves. And as you can see, it moves the entire bottom piece. But you can see that um, I still have some um, imperfections there because the top piece is right there. The top piece, bottom left of the top piece is pulling with, pulling with the bottom piece as well and it's right there there's imperfections right there as well the top of the head some pieces there is pulling that'll be something that we'll have to fix uh, right now while it's being pulled so you can actually leave it in this position because where you so you know which parts you need to uh, repair or redo so we're going to go back into uh, the uh, object mode here and once again we're going to select the armature and select the 3d model armature 3d model go back into paint and now we can see clearly where what part of the top is being pulled as well and then we can just go ahead and paint it and when we paint it blue it'll actually uh, you actually see it being fixed on the fly I'll tell I'll show you what I mean right now so we can see where the top is being pulled along with the bottom piece. It's not what we want. So we're going to the weight's already set to zero, and we're going to go ahead and start painting. And when I paint it blue, you can see that the mesh will move back to its position on the fly. See that? Now we know once it gets back just to its normal position, we know that oh, it's there's no more paint on that the teeth is a little bit pulled so we just painted that and it went back sometimes they're hard to get but eventually it'll go up and right there that big uh, piece there being pulled we'll paint it and it'll go back up paint it uh, blue meaning it sh the bo meaning that bone should not pull th this piece at all uh, sometimes these pieces um, a hard to get because they're actually like that piece right there is actually inside of the bottom mouthpiece so I have to zoom into the inside yeah, I'd have to zoom inside of the mesh and then paint it down there because I'm not getting the very very tip of that that piece it's inside of the bottom piece so I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna see that uh, a little bit of that piece is on the inside of the mesh uh, it's still you know that looks like it's not but I'm still not on the inside so if I zoom again eventually I will find that the little piece is on the inside and with it being on the inside you can just paint it right there boom and it goes back up and then you can paint it again and again until the bottom until the bone does not pull that top piece
Okay, just cleaning up here, making sure that nothing is being pulled by the new uh, weight paint. I mean, the new uh, armature. And making sure again that everything on the bottom of that armature is all red. I want it all red. The more red it is, the more it pulls. So, in other words, if you want to pull the entire thing, you want it all red. If you want to pull it, like stretch it, you want it from anything from, you know, blue to yellow. Okay, we're going back into pose mode and we're going to test that bone pull again. And you can see the new armature pull the entire bottom piece. So it works pretty well right now. Just a little more demonstration here. Alright, um, looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and um, Alt GR to set it back to its uh, default T pose so that mouth is back to the normal position right there and we're going to go back into object mode okay so we're back in object mode here we're going to go ahead and select the armature again because now we want to go ahead and animate the mouth so we're going to select the armature and we're going to go into pose mode. Okay, and now uh, we're going to go ahead and, and animate that mouthpiece to to match the the already existing animation. All right. So what we're going to do is select the armature right there, the one we want to um, animate, which is the mouth and we're going to use keyframes keyframes to go ahead and um, animate that mouth so we're going to go ahead and start the keyframe animation here so the uh, the bone is selected the one we want to animate and we want to move as you can see it's already doing the animation so I want the mouth to start opening at maybe around right here at 25 uh, the 25th frame during the animation and if you press I it'll bring up the insert keyframe menu and you want to choose uh, location and rotation so that'll do animation from location meaning moving from one point to another point and it'll animate rotation as in a 90 degrees rotation or in any which way um, so it'll do the animation of both the location and rotation so the key keyframe is set right there at 25 you can see there's a yellow keyframe uh, set there on the timeline and then I'm gonna move the animation again to where he actually okay at that point right there 40 at 40 right there it seems like it's at it's would be at its uh, highest point where he opens his mouth like it doesn't get any wider so I'm gonna go ahead and move the armature to where I want as as big as I want the mouth to open okay so maybe the mouth opened this big and you can move it to match okay so once I have that set where I like the mouth how big the mouth open I'll set a keyframe right there at 40 as you can see there is already a keyframe there on the timeline and the, to set it again once it's just I and then location rotation then I'll move the, uh, the timeline here to where he comes he might be at his starting to you know close his mouth again at a hundred seems like he might be starting to close his mouth again because the animation is you know coming to its end 
So I'll set a keyframe location, uh, location rotation right there. And I'll move it all the way to where his mouth is probably all the way closed again. So at this position, I'm thinking the mouth is back to closed position. Now, there's an easy way to get that closed position. You don't have to uh, move the mouth to the closed position you want. Uh, there's already a default closed position, and that's the very first keyframe. So all you gotta do is go over to the very first keyframe, duplicate it, move it over to 140. I'm gonna select it, duplicate it, and move that keyframe to 140, and automatically the mouth closes. Now I'm gonna test the entire uh, animation here just by uh, playing it or moving the timeline and it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and play it see that so the end the mouth already moved okay now we're gonna go ahead and test the entirety of the animation and look at the mouth as you can see the mouth open and it's going to close again now for this particular um, example the mouthpiece goes below the chest um, I've had other um, I've had other 3D uh, other 3D meshes or uh, 3D um, characters that the mouth actually just is normal it doesn't go underneath the chest Alright, and that ends the tutorial for today. Thank you everybody for watching. If it helped you out, if you liked it, or you just enjoyed watching it, subscribe and like. And um, hope to see you guys again next time.